we was here, weren't we, a couple of months ago and we made a video having a catch up. Um, and the weather's not warmed up much no, since look, it's still uh, freezing today. Yeah, look, mind. here we are, we're still here in coats and jumpers and stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So in, in, in longest big, day in a month's time, yeah, never mind. Yeah. Um, there's been a few things going on, isn't there? So that's why I wanted to make a short video with you just to get um, updated on what's going on. Uh, May the 2nd, we all went to Downing Street. There's been videos out there and stuff, but you were one of the people that went in, weren't you? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so um, you didn't go in in 2014, I don't believe. No, that no, was no. Your first it, was, time, um, so... it was a great honour to be invited yeah. this time. So, how was it? Services to the cause. Well, it's you have to go through the, you know, the um, security strip and place. Sort of yeah, thing, yeah, know, exactly. And, yeah. Uh, and all that nonsense. Yeah. And the guy there saying, oh, the ladies love to strip off when they come in. Oh, really, my you know, God. Trying yeah. to be all pally and nice <laughs> with us, you know. But anyway, no, it was good to be there. It was a bit surreal. Um, but I think the gravity of the moment, Paul Fitch did a speech, it was serious. It was more than just handing in the, the yeah. signatures. Yeah. Um, we have served notice on camera, yeah. and this is a major step. Yeah. And I think also it gives us credibility in the eyes of the public because, you know, people talk to me about this, and I say, look, and I show them, they said, you really went to Downing Street? I said, it was on my camera. I show them, oh, yeah, right, okay. Uh, if they doubt me, and I said, look, if we were talking nonsense or if we didn't believe in what we believe in, we wouldn't have taken this step. And we've got enough people with enough knowledge and enough legal expertise to be able to carry this through now. And um, yeah. heads have got to roll for this, literally, yeah, even though we know he's a puppet. Um, but, you know, we've got to do something within the power yeah, of the law to knocking, take this a stage further. Knocking on doors helps, I think. Yeah. You know, it's um, even, obviously, even if there's no solution overnight, the fact that we still, we're there knocking on doors, you could you could suggest that if it really was, and I hate to use this word, but if it really was a conspiracy, would they be opening their gates, letting you go through the security That's procedure the that you went through? Yep, yep. Going up there just for a petition of 5,000 signatures on a conspiracy? No. Exactly. You know, yeah. I mean, it's not a publicity stunt, is it? No. David Cameron wasn't there, the newspapers wasn't there, no. you know, it wasn't a publicity stunt, it was dealt with as an administrative thing, wasn't that's it? That's right, that's yeah. right. As a process of our yep. country. Yeah. Yeah. Then after um, this protest sort of thing, we've been speaking a lot about um, your chats to people in Winchester where you do some stuff. <laughs> well, it's this thing. Exactly. It's my placard. Yep. Go on, spin it around. That one. Yeah. We've, I think we've seen it before. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. get fed up. Well, the people, if I don't have it in my rucksack, people yeah. say, where's your placard? Yeah, that's funny. Okay. I had a guy the other day like, said, what's wrong? Chemtrails, you're the chemtrails yeah. lady, aren't you? And I had someone else come up to me, pass me in a car, and went, yes, yeah, I'm with you. Excellent. I mean, this is happening excellent. because they, they know I've got this on my yeah. back. So um, this is what I want to hear quickly, you know, and I obviously mean, what other people will want to hear. It's, you're, it's you, the, the yeah. average people. It's the people in the street. It, well, it's it's mostly workers. The work, you know, the builders, mm -hmm. the gardeners, the decorators, the landscape gardeners. All these sort of people that I meet. And a um, couple of guys. I recognised the van because I'd seen it in around. And this guy said, "Can I have a flyer?" He was referring to what was on my back. Mm -hmm. And I thought, well, he doesn't know much about it. He was in the pro. He knew everything. Him and his mate. We talked for about half an hour, going through how they'd learnt about geoengineering chemtrails from Facebook. Um, they talk amongst their friends, their friends are aware of it, they've spread the net wider and wider and wider. There could be dozens of people there that yeah. through them now know about it. Left them, we've agreed to sort of kind of arrange a meetup or something. Half an hour later, met a um, couple of landscape gardener guys, told me all, they didn't want to be on camera these guys, but told me all about what's happening to the trees, what's happening to the bees you know, the actual decimation of our planet okay. from chemtrails. And these are obviously the best people to be hearing they're it from, with aren't the land. they? Exactly. So if they say they're not seeing the bees, yep. then you know that's the guys that would know. Someone this morning said the same thing to yeah. me. He said, I know, you know, the bees are in decline. There's less yeah. bees this year than there were last year. But this guy actually shook my hand. He yeah. said, my name's Sean. He said, yeah. I've seen you around with your black heart. I've been dying <laughs> to meet you. And, you know, I thought, oh, great, you know, fantastic. But he said, I'm with you. Yeah. I'm with you on this. And so him and his mate and I talked for about an hour. I thought, I'm never yeah. going to get anything done today. And then later on, I met a guy coming home um, to his place. Well, not his place. He rents a room. But he said, I don't believe this. He said, I'm with you on this. And he'd been around the agenda 10 years. And obviously 10 years ago, not that many people were. No, but he said now, he said, it's just like an awakening. I was on an absolute roll that day. Yeah. And this was still 7 o'clock and I was still out of work. Yeah. But, you know, I feel 
Well, obviously it's not. There's more of us than them because there isn't. But no. it's just getting to the point. It's snowballing. It is such. beginning to snowball. It's very yeah. exciting. And I've decided um, to start a group in Winchester. Yeah. There's already people who are aware to this. There are activists in Winchester yeah. that sometimes come to our demonstrations yeah. for that. But to get a group of the general public who perhaps don't want to come on marches, yeah. meet in a place somewhere once a month to thrash out ideas, maybe to do something, or but more importantly to actually exchange information. Yeah. And know your numbers. You'll know yeah. how many of you are there. And it's it's a very empowering thing. Like when we've done conferences and stuff, um, you know, you always think, yeah, there's only five people at my event. So, you know, they're, they're, there's not many people know or not many people care. But at the conferences, when you've got a room that can take 100 people and 100 people are in that room and there are people standing outside, you know, that sort of thing. That's when you kind of, when you all come together in a room yep. is where you realise yeah. who you are sort of thing isn't it you know it's um so yeah it's got to be done isn't it and in fact there was another guy um that i met just two weeks before another gardening fellow and i don't know how we got onto the subject oh we talked about spare time we're both self-employed and i said you know you know we're our own bosses so and i said you know don't get much days off and when i do i'm involved in something else oh what's that he said and i told him he said oh my goodness and all about that conversation took off yeah. and he wants to meet me um, he's emailed me already he wants me to even talk to a group of people about chemtrails and yeah. geoengineering Excellent. it is beginning to happen yeah people are um, people are working it out and they need they are seeking the education which yeah. is maybe a difference isn't it you know people are actively open to receiving information I mean we're here today at speakers corner um, it's a Sunday afternoon so you know you can hear the noise coming from there um, you know, there's a lot of people taking information and stuff, you know, so if you think about what's actually going on, the amount of information people are be hand, being handed and stuff, you know, we get a lot of interest here, don't we? We do. You know, I've given out a lot of flyers already today. Um, you know, it's, it amazes me that in amongst all this sort of almost, for want of a better word, <laughs> chaos, right, <laughs> to do with religion that's going on up and down and uh, currently at the moment leaving the EU. There's a lot of EU stuff going on here today. I'm surprised that people are actually stopping and being interested in our thing, you know, yeah. it's kind of, but they are. As soon as you say what it's about, it's, um, you know, people stop, they're interested, aren't they? And if there's a language problem, there were a couple of Italians I yeah. spoke to, an Italian lady and her son. And um, my Italian is non-existent virtually, but you know, I pointed to the film and with my limited yeah. Italian and told them that to watch the film because it's subtitled. Yeah. yeah. And Excellent. that's something I actually need to do because if you meet a Chinese or a Japanese person, yeah. has it been subtitled in yeah. Chinese or Japanese? Yeah. That I don't Who knows? know. So we need to find that. So out. <laughs> I need to find out so I can say to someone, look, yeah. it's in your language. Yeah. I mean, it's going to be in French and German and Spanish and Italian. It's in about it's 26 to different languages. I need think, to find so out which yeah. one. Okay, so then yeah. um, let's have a think now. Uh, Defra. Okay, the department. Department for Environment and Rural Affairs, oh, affairs or, something or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, okay. So obviously you can tell we're really up on our acronyms, aren't we, <laughs> and what they mean, eh? But um, yeah, so DEFRA, basically a, a friend of yours got in touch with um, DEFRA, made a phone call. The video is out there online. I will link it to the info in this video section. But, um, you know, maybe you could just tell people a little bit about that. Um, basically, I think he's rung them up before he wants to try and basically get them to admit what's going on yeah. you know we're always trying to get people to admit what's going on but he does suffer with seasonal affective disorder and um, you know he needs sunlight yeah. you know it is apparently I, I can't even imagine but it's a crippling illness for yeah. people who don't have sunlight in the winter months and he was basically asking the guy to explain what this mess was in the sky and why we don't see the Sun anymore and the guy was well it's solar radiation management don't you know sort of thing and he's like well no I don't that's why I'm asking you, yeah. sort of thing. And this guy came out with it. Um, I'm not sure. I mean, there's been quite a lot of Facebook comment on the film. I'm not sure. The guy, to me, seems genuine. Yeah. But some people are saying that maybe because the cat is out of the bag to a large yeah. extent now. I mean, the government cannot keep a lid on this any yeah. longer. I mean, seriously, there's so many people that know it's it. It's almost like if you ask, you'll get told. Well, he's kind of... A 
admitting that yes, it is going on. Mm. Because one one thing he did say was he couldn't if it's to block the sun. He said, why do they spray at night? Exactly, that surprised me in that. That was one of the things he said, didn't do. he? He said like it's funny because if it's solar radiation management, why well, I've seen them spraying the, the moon out. I've yeah. seen them spraying at night. So why would they do that then? I mean, I almost fell off my chair when I heard that. Yeah. You know, there was a trust me, there was a lot of points in that video yeah. where I was shocked mm. that, of what I was hearing. Now uh, I've been doing it many years, and I was just shocked at what I was hearing. Is, I couldn't believe it's what like I was saying. It, it really was, is, yeah, it's, it's perfect. And um, unfortunately, towards the beginning of the video, my friend did use the word deliberately sprayed, and I thought, mm. oh dear, that mm. means you actually yeah. know that they're deliberately yeah. sprayed. But yeah. the thing is, that was on a second or a third or even a fourth yeah. hearing because I helped him edit it. But yeah. the thing is, on first hearing, I didn't notice he'd used that yeah. word. Yeah. And, okay. um, yeah, well, I, found... I don't think the other guy twigged that he knew. I don't yeah. think he did. Well, he he did. was giving information. This is the thing. I mean, he did start out by saying, like, I've seen white lines in the sky. What are they? And the conversation ended up with, yeah, I've known about it since the 90s or something, wasn't it? Hey, it was kind of like... And the public needs to know about <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It was so funny. It was but just, actually... It was um, the best thing I've ever heard in my life, honestly. On the, so the shares of the first video, because it was taken down by YouTube, yeah. you know, as usual. Yeah, that should be mentioned. Yeah, yeah there they, was they took some... it down. It was well, it was taken down by user, apparently. Yeah. And when I got in touch with the user, uh, uh, he didn't take it down. It was YouTube. Yeah. They're up to their tricks. Yeah. And Facebook also um, um, stopped. They also deleted quite a few shares that I actually made of that. Deleted all the links to it. Yeah. Deleted the entire post, which I then had to redo. But. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm okay. To think what I was yeah. Say, well, I now. think people should definitely be sending love and good vibes out to the guy that did that phone call. Whatever yeah. happens, eh? Because um, it was very brave, job. very, very brave, brave of him. <laughs> it's just like you know, it's a bit scary. It's, it's you know, even for me, I talk to strangers, but it's a little bit scary doing that sort of thing. Yeah. So to, it was very brave and very good of him. And we've got yeah. um, an admission. You know, yeah. it's going on. The yeah. thing is, and people need to be aware of that, don't on. they? You know, you've got to govern, even though he might. The fact is, is that this DEFRA guy, he was at work speaking as a representative of DEFRA. He wasn't down the pub no. talking to his mate over a pint of beer no. about geoengineering. Mm. He was at work right. answering a member of the public's question and he answered it with certain words and people need to kind and of... And then pass the buck very conveniently. Yeah, end. it's very funny. Up to the, the Department, Department of the Environment, Environment and Climate with Change. It's got to go yeah. somewhere else. Depart so Department it was the Department of Climate Change, Climate and or whatever. No, it was climate. Rural Studies. I don't know Is what it? department yeah. it was. It, it was some sort Def of... Defra over to deck or something, right. wasn't it? I think it's something like that, eh? Hey. Oh, oh fuck. But this is the thing, you know, I mean, people, whether they're in the UK, whether they're um, in other countries, obviously it's stuff that can be used, isn't it? You know, it's just, uh, you know, if uh, someone in another country says, look, this is what the British government are saying, that might force someone else's hand, you know, uh, the French government then have to say, well, okay, you know, we're doing this, you know, and then that person, someone in Germany can use what the French and the British government have been tricked into saying, and, you know, and, and that's how we get some solutions, isn't it? Okay, on that note, thanks for that little update, no doubt I'll find you again in a few well, months and we'll go again, yeah, definitely, trucking, uh, definitely. This is my, my call to arms, this, I yeah. call it my beacon, it's a call to arms, because we are in a war. Yeah. Truth. You know, the outcome of a war is not determined yeah. by numbers. Yeah, it's and strategy. And for people watching this video, you know, uh, to those watching this video that think like, oh yeah, okay, high energy lady, lady with a banner and blah blah blah. You know, this woman does endless, endless activism. Okay, I get to hear a lot about it. Um, I wouldn't say it unless it was happening. You know, we don't sort of like big each other up for no reason. We're not into that. You know, so just trust me. You know, this woman does a lot of work. Okay, so. So, you know, check out a channel as well, which I will link you to, oh, and um, glad, yes. and you've definitely got whoever's listening. You've got to look at this Defra video, okay, on her channel. It's just so funny. You will love it. Okay, yeah. Okay, thanks, Cassandra. Thank you. Next time. Yeah. Till next time. Yeah.